Good morning and welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. We are back in the bad remake of Charlie's Angel's hair again. It is 10 o'clock and I had to go out for a blood test this morning at 8.30. But obviously, following the events of Friday, I am without a car because I can't drive it. <laughs> so I had to walk, which is fine. I like a walk, um, but I could have done without it today just because it doubles the amount of time everything takes. I also then stopped and... Uh, picked up some wrapping paper and stuff and I wasn't able to eat before my blood test so I haven't even had a cup of tea yet at 10 o'clock in the morning so first things first I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I'm gonna have a plain all butter scone for my breakfast no fruit because dried fruit is wrong <laughs> Cheers. Obviously, I know that <laughs> a lot of people do like dried fruit, but I don't. Actually, I really like malt, I feel like I've said this before, but I really like malt loaf, which is filled with dried fruit and raisins, um, but I just don't like them um, in scones and hot cross buns and things, and certainly not in any form of main course or any meal. It shouldn't be added to anything. I just, oh, I can't stand it. I had a couple of questions about the chickens. We haven't shown the chickens this year yet. Well, we have. We've shown them all year. What well, I mean, this vlogmas. <laughs> so I, I am on chicken duty today because Dan is in the office all day. So I'm about to go down there and clean out the poop from overnight, check for any eggs. We don't really have more than about one a day at the moment. And see how they're all doing. We want to get down there and give them a really thorough spring, well, winter clean out. Um, we haven't actually had any notifications about them going into lockdown yet, flock down, uh, because of bird flu. Normally they would be in flock down by now. So we might let them out at the weekend for a good old bock about the garden whilst we completely rake it over. And I want to get a, a tub in there and make them their own little dust bath because it stays quite wet at this time of year, but there's a sheltered area and I can build them a little dust bath with just topsoil and sand that stays dry. So we'll go and see them in a minute. Uh, hey Hey, who was molting during Vlogtober, is now looking fabulous again. And Peggy, who's our largest chicken, I've always argued that she is just big feathered and my point has been proven because she is now having a massive molt. And she's looking very bedraggled, so we'll go and check on her and make sure she's okay and not too cold. It's quite sunny and mild today. I think it's about 11 degrees. And then I'm going to clean down this table because the cat has obviously been allowed on it this morning. I'm going to give it a thorough hoover and wipe and anti-back. And I am then going to parcel up a load of Strictly prizes. So I drew a load of prizes in my latest knitting and crochet podcast over on Little Drops of Wonderful. And quite a few people have already got in touch, so that's brilliant. So I'm going to parcel those up and get them out before Christmas. Um, if I put labels on them and weigh them, I can get them picked up tomorrow. And then I am going to do a load of wrapping, get some stuff under the tree. And then I've got a load of other stuff on my list, which is underneath the camera. Oh, I've got to block my mum's Christmas cardigan, I'll show you. My mum made a Christmas waistcoat. Oh my goodness, it looks so bright on the screen. Uh, it's just acrylic yarn, but she's asked me to block it for her. So I'm either going to um, pin it out and give it a light um, spray with water, or I've got a steamer that might work, but I, I don't want to melt the acrylic. So as long as I don't go too close, it should be fine. I'm going to do a bit of Googling to find the best way to do that so I can get that blocked for her. I'm going to do that today. I've got some emails to catch up on. I'm really behind on emails, so sorry if you've emailed me and I haven't got back to you. Hopefully you will hear from me today. And yeah, getting stuff done. Is that you making that noise? This is Cloud. 
Oh, what have I got for you? Can I get you some seed? Come on in. Look at Peggy. Oh, poor Peggy. You're all scraggly. You're a shadow of your normal self. Up you come, hey, hey. Oh, you're enthusiastic. Right. Come on then. I'll give you extra Peggy because you're molting. Poor Peggy. Sorry. She'll look glorious soon. Like Hey Hey. Look how glorious Hey Hey is. You're looking marvellous, aren't you? Now I know someone who likes the chickens whose birthday it is. So Hey Hey, you're going to say happy birthday to Lachlan. There you go. Cloud, you going to say happy birthday to Lachlan? Just hanging my coat up. So yes, it's Lachlan's birthday. Happy birthday, Lachlan. Calls me the chicken lady, apparently, which I really like. I'm, I'm one of many Vlogmas chicken ladies. Off the top of my head, Suzanne at Green Lumpkin Yarns in Gainer at Tales and Cuckoo Land. I also just realised I should probably apologise for how red my nose is. I haven't actually looked very well in the mirror today. I've been putting loads of um, like special cream on it and stuff. I always get this when I get a really bad cold. It's like I get a really sore bit on my nose. I'm, I'm being very good at looking after it. I bought pillar candles yesterday and I got white ones rather than cream and I'm just looking at them on the mantelpiece wishing I'd got cream. They're not in place, I've literally just bunged them here. Hmm. I don't know, maybe once I put them all in place and put things around them, I'll warm to them. It might just be because the advent candle's cream but I can move the advent candle to the kitchen. Mm -hmm -hmm. Still not fully decorated. If you want to come in, you need to have your paws wiped. Oh, I know you don't like it. I know you'll wash them. But it's muddy out there, isn't it? Good girl. You are so sweet letting me wash your paws. There we go. Was that most undignified, Mia? <coughs> yes, you tell everyone. There you are. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat Putting on the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year So you can see, it's hard to film this red, but you can see, hopefully, the difference on this side. It's gone a lot flatter and more relaxed than this side, which I haven't done. And what I'm doing is I'm going over it really carefully with the steamer so that it gets a little bit of heat and moisture and relaxes the acrylic fibres, but doesn't melt it because it is made of plastic. If you melt it, it's a goner. So I'm gonna keep going and then I'm gonna pin it slightly to straighten out the button band. It is all pinned. I've pinned it very lightly. I've literally just put a couple of pins at the bottom and just shaped the neckline and the armholes a bit. Just hopefully that will do the job. I can always block it a bit more if she wants. I've also given the back um, cable a bit of a block already. 
So I'm going to drink my super fruits tea, which is delicious, and get on with it. Oh, and my slippers, you saw me on the hunt for slippers in Vlogtober. And I found these in Fat Face, I think it was. I love them. I might go and buy another pair as spare for when these perish. I love them. It is half past two in the afternoon. <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> I had to put all the lights on. It looks like the sky is really bright, but it's not. It's just because it's dark in here and lighter out there. I think I might do the chickens, vegetables early. So they've got plenty of time to eat it. They might go to bed early if it's this dark. Right, let's do that now. By the way, washing, blocking mat thing, more washing, recycling, washing up. Kitchen's last on my to-do list. I'm also going to give them some grated cheese. This has absolutely no nutritional value for chickens at all, but they absolutely love it. It's a sort of once, maybe twice a year little treat. And what better day than a rainy cold day when you've lost half your feathers to molting. Hi girls. We have a look in the pond. <gasps> oh look, this one just here. Can you see him? Hello foggy. Oh, having a nice little sit in the rain. Hi girls, have I got some veg for you? Where's Hay? Oh, she's over there. Just had to put my GoPro in the cheese. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> So excited you fell over. Okay. I don't blame you, I, I really like cheese too. I would push people out the way for cheese. Oh, did you just burp? Or was that just a happy noise? No, it's a happy noise. Oh, good boy, clown. Easy tiger. Oh, look how scrawny she is. You will be your fabulous self again soon, pigs. Yeah. Right, rest on the floor. You can have a little peck about. I think I feel more deaf now. So this was the thing recommended the other day by the lady at the National Trust property last Thursday when I went uh, to Nyman's with my friend Becky. We ended up chatting to the lady about blocked ears and she recommended it. You've got to do it for a little while. I don't think it's an instantaneous thing according to the instructions anyway. So I did, I've just done it. It's a really weird sensation. You sort of create a seal with it. You stick it up your nostril like that very charming and then you hold the other nostril down and it just emits this stream of air and you have a bit of water in your mouth and you swallow it and it helps to open up your association tubes and I can feel everything moving but it's like they're all glued together that's what it feels like it feels like they're trying to peel apart but they're all glued together anyway you can do it you do it two lots um five minutes apart twice a day so I'm going to persevere with it I will keep you updated it's quite fun to do it's just a really weird sensation. I really hope it works because this is driving me bananas. I just realised that it is three o'clock and I haven't actually, oh, bad lighting. I haven't actually edited my vlog that's supposed to go up in the next couple of hours. So I am going to clean this kitchen. Phoebe will be home in about 20 minutes with a friend. I'm going to put my earphones in, get some vlogmases on and get this sorted. And I might make a cup of tea as well. I've been catching up. I've fully caught up with Suzanne at Green Lampkin. I'm fully caught up with Becky at Back to Blighty. I've just started on Gainer at Tales from Cuckoo Land. So I'm up to about day five or six with hers. And then I'm going to... So I might stop at day six of Gainer's and then um, catch up with Jack at Slip Sip Ginge and Sarah at Yarn Mugs. <laughs> there are just so many to choose from. I love it. And I love how 
completely different everyone is like everyone edits in a different way everyone shares different things like some people really focus on cooking or making or Christmassy decorations or none of that and I that's what I love I love you can choose whatever makes you feel cozy even on any given day or hour by hour according to your mood oh, I love it I love vlogmas I love it more than cleaning the kitchen I've just been putting together some soup for Lilia. Um, I've been cleaning the kitchen. Actually, I've cleaned the kitchen. I just need to move and clean the dining room table, but it's not, it's not as bad as it looks over there, so that's good. And I've just done some tomato soup for Lilia, all nice and hot in there with some bread because she, after one day off, is back on her run of Mary Poppins tonight. So they'll be performing every night this week. It's Tuesday today uh, with a matinee on Saturday. Blinking teenagers without their keys. <laughs> she just turned to her friend and went, my mum's vlogging. Oh my God, can you the vlog? I haven't asked your mum. It's fine, I'll be YouTube famous. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be YouTube famous. I'd have to ask your mum, so probably not she a good idea. It's all consent. Mum, it's just late. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. I've got silk I'm going to put up our plastic mistletoe, which we've had, I think, since before Dan and I were married. <laughs> it always goes above the door, above the living room here. We're just going to. We usually just sellotape it above the door frame. Actually, I just thought a pin would work better and then it won't fall down about 50 times. It's not perfect, but it will do. We also have to sort these lights out. So, I, so I've so i still got more down here and I did start putting them up here, but they fell down and I need to make, so this is the wire. I was gonna make sure it goes against here and just pin it in. But I'm not sure I've left myself enough slack to bring it across here and up. So I have to have a bit of a fart about with that, I think, but I don't think I can be bothered today. That might be a job for later in the week or next week. Or after Christmas. Can you hear thumping? That's uh, Phoebe and her friend upstairs being very delicate. I'm sorry, am I sitting where you need to walk? Can I just close my laptop, please? Thank you. Would you like to sit on my laptop? You're a better drawer than a window, Mia. If you are newly subscribed, God, I look awful, don't I? If you are newly subscribed, <laughs> Dan's home now as well. So we've got the light shaking, the cat trying to get in on the act. Oh, don't stand on the birthday card. Hi. Hello. Hi. I can't remember what I was about to say to the dog. Oh yes, I went to take, got my coat on and everything to take Lilia to college and then remembered I can't drive my car. But fortunately, Dan was just around the corner, so he took her. That's what I was going to say. And I've not edited my vlog yet. So everything else is done. I still haven't decided what we're having for dinner. I know what we can have for dinner. What? I won the What's Left Over raffle. Uh, I won one of the prizes on the What's Left Over from the Christmas lunch raffle today. So I've got cheesy biscuits. We have crackers for dinner. Soft salted M&S butter. Ooh, cheddar. What's all over it? Brie. Bread Leicester. Coke in there or something? Possibly, yeah. yeah. And so. Oh, Red Stilton. Ooh, so you and I could have cheese and biscuits. Yes! Couldn't we? It's not much for dinner though, is it? But we can have them later. Wow! I think we could have soup. Wow, look at this. I was just talking about how much I love cheese. Anyway, so I was about to wrap up the vlog because I think it's going to be a bit of a long one today because I've been jabbering away all day. I've had a very productive day and I've got more done, a lot of stuff done that I hadn't expected to get done. We're gonna have to have words, aren't we? We're gonna have to have words, you and me. Yeah, got a lot more done than 
I expected to get done and I feel really pleased about it. So I'm now going to go upstairs with a pint of squash, orange squash. Oh, that's what I was saying. I was going to say this isn't our cat. It's not our cat. I was saying to it, welcome to new subscribers. I've had a little flurry of subscribers. So welcome, I should say. Um, and thank you so much for subscribing. God, I'm going to have to chop and change this bit a bit, aren't I? I keep losing my train of thought. It's because the cat sent me into a kind of relaxed stupor. She's <laughs> purring and it's like, oh. You were explaining to our new subscribers about the cat. The cat is not our cat. Thank you for stopping by and subscribing. I really appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun doing Vlogmas. And I think tomorrow, because I'm back to work tomorrow, boo. Though I am looking forward to getting back. Oh, actually, I'm supposed to be going out for my yoga class Christmas drinks oh. up the road at the pub. Oh, I can't join you. So, uh, yeah, I might, might be doing that. I can't play football. You're, are you playing football? Yeah. Anyway, this is all getting very boring, so I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I'm actually going to light the advent candle tonight, and I'm going to go and enjoy a bit, enjoy a bit of editing. See you tomorrow for day 13. Ooh. Oh, and Dan, <coughs> could you say happy birthday to Lachlan? Mia says happy birthday, Lachlan. Happy birthday, Lachlan, buddy. Have a nice one. Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas.